Hello everybody and welcome to another Pixel for Life video tutorial. My name is Steven and today we are going to be doing some CSS. Uh, what we are going to be doing is creating a current state for your navigation bar. Um, you can do this with jQuery but I'm going to show how to do it with just CSS and it's quite simple so there's pretty much no reason why you shouldn't do it for your website. Now to start off I just have a page for each one of these links as you can see frequently fac uh, contact categories and then the home page right here what you want to do is give all of your pages a specific body ID now the, doing this by hand can get annoying if you have a ton of pages but uh, for a small portfolio with like four pages or so uh, this is pretty easy and that's why you'd want to use jQuery was for larger websites so it automatically put an ID for you so all that aside, let's just jump right into it. We need to start off by giving it an ID, and we'll name this. Just go. I'll just go with home, and then save that. Go to categories. Go to the body ID equals categories, and then contact, and then one last one for frequently asked questions. Okay, let me just save all these real quick. Alright, so if we refresh the page here, you'll see that nothing happens at all. And this is why we need CSS. So we jump over to our CSS right here. And we need to, well first actually, sorry about that, we need to go to our navigation bar. And that's right here. We need to give each one of our navigation items a specific ID. So ID, I'm going to call this one nav home. And then ID, and I'm going to call this one nav categories. And this one's going to be nav FAQ. And then nav oh, contact. So what we have right now is all of our pages have a unique body ID. And all of our links have a unique ID specifying what page it is. Maybe you get an idea of where I'm going with this. So now in styles.css, we want to say body with the ID of home. And that is this right here, ID of home, space, and then we're going to do the pound sign again, ID nav home. So no comma or anything, just a space. And this second one is what we used for the specific ID for the link. So what this is targeting is for the page with the body ID of home, find the ID of nav home. And that's, I tried pointing with my finger and you can't see that. And that's this right here. So it's finding this, this link on the ID of home right there. All right, so this is where we can give it a specific color. So color, I just go with purple so you can see it. Save it and let's refresh this home page. As you can see, the color for post is purple. We can click on this one and it turns off. Go back and it's on. So now we want to do comma and we want to do body with the ID of categories and then space, just a space, nav categories and then again, um, let me just copy this. This might be a little bit quicker paste it in there, categories uh, or uh, the name of FAQ, nav with FAQ, and um, do it again one more time I think, and this one's going to be body contact, and nav contact. Alright, so now if I save this and refresh, I can go over to the categories page, and that one's purple. FAQ, that one's purple, contact, and that one's purple. Very nice. So if you're the curious type, you might be wondering how else this can be used. And I actually had to use it on my own personal website where I wanted just a, a specific thing on the sidebar to be listed on a specific page, such as um, links 
to an anchor point on the website like logos and portfolios anyhow I'll just show you how it can be used um, let's go over to our page top this navigation bar since this is shown on every one of the pages and we'll just make a quick h1 and I'll go welcome to my website save that and if I refresh this you'll see that it is on every one of the pages and I don't know how you want your website but I don't want that on every one of my pages maybe just on the home page so let's give that a unique ID of welcome message save it and let's go back over to our our styles and again we're going to do body with the ID of home and then we're going to do welcome message um, now first let's just let's, let me cut that for now not do anything or we'll leave it there but uh, not put any specifics in there so before this I want to do welcome message and do display none save it and if I refresh this it is now shown on none of the pages but if I were to inspect the element and then come down over to um, I'm not sure where it's listed. Um, okay, right here, inside of page wrap. If I come, it is shown here, but the display is none, so you don't even see it there. So that might be giving giving you an idea of what I'm about to do. So over here in this body home welcome message. So with the body ID of home, find the ID of welcome message, and change this display to block. Now if I save this and refresh you're not going to see anything because I'm on FAQ but if I come over to home there it is alright very nice so maybe that's giving you a couple of ideas of what uh, you can do to improve your website or add you know extra functionality to it functionality to it thank you all very much for watching and now let me give you a list of my demands first start off by subscribing and then leave me a sweet comment below like, Steven, your voice is getting even cooler. Um, and then share this video. And then last, add us on Twitter. Our Twitter name is Pixel for Life. So you can go to twitter.com slash pixel for life. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time.